Wall Street is hoping for continued gains during this shortened trading season. Yesterday, the Dow added 370 or 20, 327 points. NASDAQ gained 25. S&P 500 rose 20. Investigators are more optimistic now than they were at the beginning of the month, and that has a lot to do with a series of announcements from drug makers showing their coronavirus vaccines are working and putting an end to the pandemic within sight. Certified fin financial planner Tony Drake from Drake & Associates is here to explain what that means for your money. Good morning, Tony. How are you? Doing well, thanks. So what we've seen with these big announcements from Pfizer, from Moderna, from AstraZeneca, we sometimes see a boost in the stock market, and then sometimes the, sky, the stock market soars. So what kind of stocks are really seeing that big boost from these announcements? Yeah, it's really been a wild couple of weeks. For the last three Mondays, we've gotten some amazing announcements from these companies regarding the vaccine and their effectiveness, which has really driven the markets up the last two weeks in the beginning of the week. But then as the week trickles on, there's been some real concern about the rising number of cases, more future shutdowns that have really caused the market to stumble throughout the week. So we'll see what happens this week. Great day yesterday. The futures are up this morning. A lot of optimism, the travel stocks, generally stocks that are based on the economy reopening are really the big winners right now. Okay, and that leads into my next question. So obviously we're in the early stages, right? We still have to apply for the FDA emergency use. Those vaccines need to be distributed. And then we have to see real tests, does it work? So what is the risk of investors being too optimistic from this vaccine news? Yeah, really long term, these vaccines, I think, are going to have a big impact on the market. Most economists are looking at quarter two and three of next year, 2021. But short term, you bring up some great points, right? We just don't know with these vaccines. When are they going to be available? When are they going to get approved? So that could have some short term turbulence on the market. I think the markets really want to see some additional stimulus. The unemployment levels are still really high compared to uh, where they were a year ago. And folks need help. We really haven't had any stimulus since March. There's a big deadline coming up on December 11th, where if it's not negotiated by then, likely it won't happen until Joe Biden takes the presidential office. So there's a lot of concern there, and these cases continue to rise. Anytime we see those rises, potential shutdowns, the markets just don't like instability and uncertainty, so that's going to cause some volatility. Mm, okay, and we have about 20 seconds left. So with all of this uncertainty, I mean, what should we be do doing with our money? How should we be investing it? Really important. Keep it short and brief. You want to have a long-term plan. You want to keep investing. If you're getting close to retirement, talk to your financial professional about reducing your risk. But keep investing. Long-term, you're going to do great. Keep investing. All right, we'll put those tips on our website, cbs58.com. But, Tony, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.